now tuned into Bars and Hoops Radio. Where the world of hip-hop and sports live. One thing that I learned about this game is that you can't skip the grind. You know what I mean? There's no off-seasons. There's no days on. You can't skip leg day. You can't skip arms. You can't skip chest. Go no off season, it's no season, we taking off 3D, it seals the great, we cut from a different cloth. The mother podcast, they clearly be taking shorts. We got it all covered, I'm talking music and sports. Prussian competitors, this not your regular late to 10 on Friday night, it's nothing out there sounding better, bruh. So take a seat, we kicking ass and taking names, download the app for bars and hoops, we taking over the game. You're now tuned in to bars and hoops radio. Sports live. Back to live action. Yeah. Shout out to DJ JLJ for that mini mix. Where it up, man. So, without any further ado, man, we're going to get into our interview with our special invited guest. Goes by the name of Tom Mel. You know what I mean? First and foremost, again, thank you for pulling up on us tonight, man. No, thank we you appreciate for having it, me. man. Wow. We want to hear your story. I know you got an interesting story, man, and that's why I wanted you to come up here to tell your story and also to promote your latest project, the Soul EP. Man. So, so yes. without any further ado, man, tell everybody who you are, where you from. Man, it's your boy Tom Mel, the real godson. You heard? The real godson. Talk born, about born it. in Long Island, went to school in Connecticut, and I'm back and forth or everywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. New York to Connecticut, stand up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what was your childhood like growing up in both places, Long Island and Connecticut, being that you went to school in Connecticut and being who you are as far as your father is concerned? How did that work for you as a young child? Um, I don't know. It was kind of weird because, you know, like uh, holidays or, or like long weekends, we go on a road or we'll, we'll, we'll go to a show or something. So okay. um, then, you know, it was back to school sometimes if, if it was a long trip that he had to take, he'll sign us out of school. We get all assignments for the days we miss, make sure we do our homework and sh you know what I mean? But so it was it was it was more so when when dad went somewhere, we was like, we out. Like it's time oh, to so go. We, got to travel on the road. Yeah, we was we, we wow. was always there. Yeah, we was traveling. We was traveling. And yeah. sometimes sometimes we we you know, if it was if it was like a specific time of the year for school, you know, we we wouldn't go or you know what I mean, it'd be different, but for the most part, it was it was either school at, on the road or in Long Island. Wow. Or, how many of you? How many of y'all is it? If you don't mind me asking, I know uh, you got brother and a sister, brother right? And sister, yeah. So it's I'm three of y'all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. You're the oldest of three. Yeah. Okay. Just to just to get rid of the elephant in the room yeah. for the viewers <laughs> at home. Yeah. Let the people that's watching know. You know what I mean? Who who, who your father, who your dad no. is because you don't you know. And my uh, my pops is Rock Kim, you know what I'm saying? Um, the God. I grew up I grew up in the crib, and and you know what I mean. He just taught me everything I know. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Uh, so so before we even move forward, so so microphone fiend, that video, that was you? No, that wasn't you. The ghetto. I was the a ghetto. Baby. You was yeah. a baby in the ghetto. Okay. I was a baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, or so shout that, out to Quano. That was Quano. And, that was uh, Quano? Microphone feed, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Word, man. So besides music, what else were you into as a youth? Um, sports. I, I played football. I was a I was a heavy, heavy in football. Um when we when I was six, seven. Sixth grade, seventh grade, seventh grade. That was yeah. That was when we first got middle school football. We was in Cali, um. So we had signed out of, we signed out of school in Connecticut. Uh -huh. Dad had to go work with Dre. We went to Cali. Oh, so you was for the Dre. We went to Cali. Dre. Wow. We was in, we was in Cali, out there, and then um, I was like, Dad, I gotta get back for spring training. They, they start football up. Yeah. Went back. That was the first year we did football, so I was heavy playing football. Man, we played ball, basketball. Basketball was more like, um, you know, you get with your boys, you play basketball. So when you on the court, yeah. it's a little, it's different. But football, that's that. That was something different. You know, you you, you had like close friends and, and brothers and people to this day. I still, I still know, talk to from from football. You know what I'm saying? No question. But um. That was football was it for me. So what was it like? How long? How long exactly did you stay on Cali? Um, 
maybe like the beginning of the school year till um I found out they brought it was yeah. like Miss almost spring. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Word up. That's crazy. He was out there for that trade project. Word. Yeah. You had something you was gonna ask? Nah, I was gonna say, um you said you play sports. We know you're into music from who your dad is. Obviously, you've been around music your whole life. What would you say is your first love? Hmm. Yo, don't laugh at me, son. <laughs> nah, nah. <man. laughs> hey, yo, say that. Yo, cooking, cooking is dope for me because, like, kid, you, you, yo, to, to be able to go out, right? Because I, I, I'm in the, I'm in the food. Go out, I'm because we always go places. So I'm, I'm, I'm the type. I go out the room by myself and see what restaurant we got. I'm, I'm an East Arm, so to be able to recreate that at the crib by yourself, are you recreating meals? Are you one of those oh, guys? Okay. Yeah, nah. Listen, yeah. some of the best chefs in the world yeah. is men. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't, ain't nobody laughing. I get busy too. Everybody out there could tell. You know what I mean? Camera put about another twenty pounds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But you know. hey, yo, and I do a mean New York chopped cheese from CT. You heard? That's what it's called. It's the New York chopped cheese from CT. You gotta holler at me to get one. Word up. New <laughs> I'm York chopped cheese from CT. Word. Nah, that's what it is. That's what it is, man. For real. So when did you get the confidence to start making music? Obviously, your father. We all know who your father is. He's great. When did you say, you know what? I'm gonna take a crack at this music. Um. I, I, I don't know. It was more so like, you know, my cousins was rapping. We always rapping. We always around each other as a young age. So it was, it was just something we was doing. We was just rapping. It was yeah. just, you know, we just do it. Like, <laughs> we might go play in a pool and we might go somewhere else and then we might run into niggas that's rapping. We rapping. Yeah. It was um my, my cousin, shout out to Reddy. He, he live out in um, Long Island. Okay. Um, we, was, we was with one of his friends. And um, he was like, yo, I got the studio in my crib. This is the, like nobody had a studio in their crib at this point. So you like, studio in your crib? What you got, man? What you recording on, Fruity Loops? <laughs> like, cause at, at that time, everybody had Fruity Loops. So it was it was only Fruity Loops. And then if you had a, no one had, yo, this dude was like, nah, I got this joint. It's called Pro Tools. Pro Tools first came out. So he was official. He was like, yo, nah, I got Pro Tools. You no, know, my, my parents got me to, to join them. Like, where? So we went over there, we seen it. First thing I did, ran back. Yo, dad, you got to get Pro Tools. Wow. He <laughs> was like, word. Looked it up. Boom. Got it. So um, after that, I'm now I'm like, all right, we got the Pro Tools. Now I had to wait for him to be there for me to use it. So I'm like, damn, I still can't. So I was sneaking in the studio when he was asleep. I would, <laughs> I would record it because, yo, yo, and it was crazy because his hours, he was writing at the time. He was... I forget what project he was doing, but I had to wait for him to go to sleep, which was like three, four in the morning, five in the morning. So I'm got to go to school at seven. So I'm like, I'm going to record this song and I'm going to play it in the car or I'm going to play it when I get to school and whatever, yeah. whoever's tape, see how it sound. Yeah. So from there, I had to learn how to mix because sometimes it was like, ah, it didn't right. sound right. So I had to go back. I had to sneak back in the studio the next morning figure out how to get the levels right so when i played it back in the cd for yeah, my, yeah, my my yeah, friends yeah, they could hear me rapping over the beat yeah, so yeah, it, you know it took like it took a, at least a hundred times going back and forth and you hearing everything because everybody got different systems everybody got a, mm -hmm. they got the, the little boom box with the open put the jack put the cd in there close it the little two stereo joint yeah. there's some people had the big old walmart colorful lighting speaker so i'm i'm listening to my shit. i'm like Yo, what yeah. what is this? So I'm, I'm going back. It's so pre Bluetooth I'm, era. Tch, word, <laughs> word. So I was, I was. That's that's what got me really into um, just recording and making songs and stuff like that. It was, so so did the response from your friends give you the confidence to keep going? Um, nah, it wasn't about that. It was it was the fact that I was able to record myself. Mm -hmm. Once I found out I could record myself, it was like, oh, what else I could do? Now it's like, all right, I want to do, I want to do this many songs. And then once I started finding other people that could do it for me, oh, well, now crazy. I ain't got to record myself. Oh, I'm going to studio. <laughs> now, that's when word, word. So was he ever against you wanting to rap? Like, I no, mean, nah, I don't want you to do that. Like, I mean, he always told me. School. He always told me, nah, nah, it wasn't 
like that. But he always told me he never wanted me to get into the business. But he was always, you know, whatever I wanted to do, he was always for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He, he always supported. Even now, like, with, with my rap now, like, um, you know, some people might think, oh, you know, why why your dad don't, you know, help you more or whatever. I'm like, oh, he, he's he's right there. I don't, I don't, as far, what I need is for me to continue to do what I'm doing because he's going to be there no matter what. He did what he had to do, so. Right. So you know why? Why would I, you know, you know dad call this company for what? Uh, it's, how, how could I get to that company myself? If I ain't that, then I feel I'll find that out. Then I course. shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so that's 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 what keeps me. That's what keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what that's what gives me the the drive. I I kind of I kind of liken it to um, LeBron could open all the doors for Bronny if he wanted to. But he letting him run on his own. And then if you need me, son, I'm here. That's a fact. That's a good comparison. You know what I'm saying? It's like, comparison. I'm not going to go open these doors for you. I'm going to let you go do and grind yourself, get better yourself, get recruited yourself. Now, if you happen to need me, I'm always going to be here. You know what I'm saying? And I always say that because it's kind of parallel to something similar that I went through. I always say that prepare your kid for the journey. Don't try to prepare the journey for them. Shout out to three. Boy, I wish I had my bombs working. Hey, you know that's saying? fire. You say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to JOJ. Word the most. Because I was because to, to say what you say, I tell I tell people I don't I don't make music to rap. I rap. I mean, I don't I don't rap to make music. You know, I live I live did not make music. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't do the music and try to go live what I was rapping. I heard it in you know your music. Saying? So it's like Facts. when you when when you ask someone, it's like, nah, you gotta you gotta live life and then create your soundtrack from what you lived. Yeah. Because otherwise, how many times you gonna do a track and try to follow what you were saying or Shit. especially if that wasn't what it was. You know what I mean? It's like so it's fact. like you pulling out the air after that if you're not, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Shit, y'all both got parallel stories, kid. Like your story from you and your pops. To his story with his, his body. I, I got similar stories, man, for real. So, what's your current thoughts on the state of music today, hip hop in general? Um, hip hop is fine. I mean, you know, because you don't sound like everybody else that's out right now. Yeah, nah. So, what we say when you say hip hop, you mean well, the rap game. Oh, uh, are you talking about the? The music, 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 about the music, the music, talk about oh, it. See, yeah, there's, the music. there's a lot of singers, about. there's a lot of singers and stuff, so there I don't, I don't really compare myself wow. to the. I don't, you know, I, I don't get me wrong, like, you know, you hit beat sometimes, you got to hit that key in the beat to stay, like, with your tone, yeah, when you're rapping, but like, you know, I, ain't, I ain't really singing, so. <laughs> I don't. I don't compare myself to that. <laughs> he said, "I ain't really singing." Word, like, That's what I like to hear. I li I like it though. Don't get me wrong. I love to do a record with like um Lil Durk and all of them. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. give me a hook or whatever. Like, let's let's rock. But um, you know, you that's know, not I'm, what you do. Yeah, this is a fact. Nah, ain't no singing on that project <laughs> or oh, none of his project. Nah, I don't. There, there's there's. I some... mean, not from you. Nah, exactly, nah, yeah. and not from you. Like, what I love about your music is that you keep it to that element that yeah. you grew up watching. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For yeah. your age, yeah. you keep it to what you grew up watching. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You ain't conform to what's going on today. You're not like, like you said, the the little guys, these little dirks and all them, they do their own thing. You still keep it to the essence of what you grew up listening to. And that's what I respect about your music. You know what I mean? I appreciate well, I feel, it. Yo, when I downloaded the Soul Tape, shout out to Apple, you know what I'm saying? When I streamed it, I'm like, yo, nah. The boom joint, just setting it off. I was like, yo, it's all right, kid. And then, and, and not for nothing, I hear a little bit of your pops. Mm. Just a certain the cadence or certain things, a certain word wordplay that you use. Yeah. I hear a little bit of your pops, but you don't emphasize it like you're trying to be your pops. And that's what I respect about your music you know what i'm saying yeah. i mean i I've, i heard many different elements i didn't just hear i didn't i didn't hear rah. like i heard and that's why i liked it i heard and hold on before you finish a lot of people said smoke dizzy as well i heard some of that yeah you reason why 
I heard some of mob in there. I heard I heard like that prodigy. Like I could hear him rhyming over havoc shit all day long. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And the project was dope because to me, this is what I call hip hop that I love. It was filled with soul with soul food. Mm -hmm. A lot of them soul food samples with a lot of drums and them beats was banging, and you could just listen to lyrics. Like I grew up, I like music that I could ride out to. Not necessarily that I want to be in a nightclub dancing to some shit that I could throw in and get from point A to point Z. And I'm listening to the whole shit and I might catch a line on the third exit that I'll be like, oh shit, and I might have to bring it back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I liked about the project. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would have liked to hear um a second verse on a joint with you and um, I think it was the second song with you and another dude. I don't remember his oh, name. David Boss. I yeah, I would have liked Boss. to have heard a second verse from you on that one, but yeah. Overall, the project was dope. Yeah. I love the beat selections. Yeah. I love Definitely the cadences, and I love because I'm I'm a ball person. Like I'm a lyricist. Like I'm not like I don't I don't knock what's going on in the music business today because I know everybody's chasing a check. Yeah, yeah. they want to they want to recreate what's trending or the popular sound. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, knowing the music, that's not going to last for long. Yeah. So this person is going to be replaced a year or two later. Exactly. So if you don't have no substance in your music. You're not gonna have a long career. Facts. Like you might catch a check. That After don't mean that, you're gonna have a long career. A you know what I mean? Where I can, I need, I need my the people I listen to. They have to have replay value. I mean, I can listen to your album this week, and I'm gonna listen to that shit next week, and the week after that, and maybe uh, next month, and I'm gonna keep listening to it. Niggas say thou seen with the reach. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> no <laughs> 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 He took it back. Like, yeah, come on. Dal C was hitting the ball way across the street. Yeah, yeah, that would go over a young boy's head. That, uh, this is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Unless you know what he's talking about. Exactly. So, nah, that's a fact, man. So, with your father being the God of Rock Camera, I love, man. Would you say that he was your inspiration? Or if he wasn't, whatever M MC inspired you to rap? That was, that was close to the question I want to ask. Oh, that's I'm, close I'm gonna let him go ahead and answer yeah, that. Well, you see, that is that is different, man. Um, I tell him every day here, Elliot. Um, he's not like his creative is different. So, so when you say who inspires, you get inspired to what you, what you can um what you can grab real, you know, easy from, right? Mm -hmm. So with dad, you gotta watch. You really gotta just sit there and just just look. Yeah. Yo, know, every time I hear a record or something, I'll be like, yo, dad, you know what you said? You said, you said, you know, you leave authors and writers with author writers. Like, how did you come up with that? What was you thinking to put that I leave authors yeah, writers and writers with author with writers? Author writers? Yeah. Like he was in some kind of a zone because like when when I'm right when when I'm writing I don't know if this goes for everybody but uh -huh. when I'm writing it's um you, you catch a pocket and sometimes you don't know that you was doing something and then you go oh that was fire and then you try to just take take the uniform and keep going with it yeah. but like it's like he gets into this like crazy pocket man and right. and and that's like you gotta watch that you gotta He's keep different. yeah yeah so my my. He he um I still I'm still understanding it. Understand you know I me? Mean? Um but my influences when I was in school, you know, it was things that got me through, you know, situations. So it was 50 Cent. Ooh, you know I mean Jay Shout Kirsten out to Fifth and the Locks. Shout um, out to the Locks. Yeah, it was the like Fab. Um I grew up off of Onyx and A Z and Ooh. all of that. The firm, Little, oh, you know that jump mean? Shout out to Nas. That. Like I grew up with a lot of all of that. Man, yeah, there's a lot of different. Cause then when once I once I started going to school in Connecticut, like I, I got into the um, started listening to rock, punk rock. I mean, um, oh, wow. not punk rock. Uh, well, yeah, like simple plan and them, like yeah, just yeah, a bunch yeah. of different. Cause people was, was listening to it, so you try to understand, like, yeah. well, why y'all, why y'all like this thing? Yeah, yeah. So, cause when you be like, I don't like that, and you be like, well, you a hater. <laughs> so I'm like, nah, I just don't like it. Well, why you don't like it? Damn, I really can't tell you why I don't like it. Yeah. I just don't like it. Yeah. So you try to sit and understand it now. Once you start hearing it, because once again, it goes back to a hit record. When you mm -hmm. hear all of these records that they playing and how they creating them, 
They all they all going through a certain like uh, vibration. They all going through a certain tone. It's, it's, it's almost the same keys. They all using the same notes. So you start to understand how all the music is made once you step out of that rap shit and really start exploring like the jazzes and singing and shit. You know, a bunch of so you know. I, I, I definitely I respect being in Connecticut. Man. And jazz is in your bloodline. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Jazz is in your bloodline. You know what I'm saying? I know I know your pops used to play the trumpet back in the day. And my he, daughter plays yeah, your the daughter plays saxophone. Your daughter plays the saxophone. Wow. She's like, Daddy, I can play pop pop song. Oh, go ahead, play. Wow. Bam, 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 What's she playing? Bam, 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 bam. I swear to God. I swear to God, she's ten years old. She talking about she want to go to school, uh, private school next year. She want to get a scholarship to go. She's going to middle school. What? Yeah. Saxophone. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Nah, that's it's, crazy. It's crazy. Really? It's, it's like it's how fast it's. It's like when people be like, oh, this genetics. So that shit is don't your real. Pops, don't your pops play an instrument too? He played on. Um, yeah, he played the drums. Right? Played the drum, sax, and trumpet. Oh, I played drum. trumpet in school. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And and my daughter. She was doing the drums, but she was like, I want to do a trumpet, a uh, saxophone. And just wow. my dad got her one. And she was boom, 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 going crazy on it. Wow. Uh, That's crazy. Wow. Real. Wow, man. So this is a trick question. So growing up, who were your top five list of MCs? Excluding dad. It's excluding <laughs> your father. And who had the most influence on you as an artist? Um, excluding your pops, Jay Z, Hope, yeah. um, just individuals, right? Like not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a lot, yo. Cause there was a lot going on. Like yo, this. You talking about you talking about ninety eight? You talking about the end of the nineties into the two thousands? Like Damn. there's a there's a lot that was going on right there. So I'm like, because remember I was listening to yeah. Onyx in ninety five, man. Like, so, like yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, like, yeah, you know what? I loved you in with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Word the mother. Word. So yeah. um, yeah, but like I, Jay Z. Oh, and I'm gonna have to say, um, so your five. Let's go with your five. Yeah. So Hove, that's what you ain't got put in no particular order. So you're five. Hove, Jada, Hove, 50. Jada, 50. <laughs> Yo, that's three. Be mad. That's three. Um, now nah, listen, they can't Yo, get mad at your the personal. Godson. Fred, 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 Fred the Godson. Rest in peace to yeah, Fred Eagle. Word. He that's four. Wow. Um, One more. Who said Hove, Jada. Let's, hold, let's go back. Home, yeah, Jada, home. Fred the Garza, fifth. You got one more. That's an interesting five. I know who his last one is. I'm gonna say. The last one is? <laughs> now, nah, nah, but you know what? Now, nah, it's Method Man. Because that nigga's still Ooh. nice. That nigga nice when we came out and he nice today. Shout, oh, okay. Shout out to Method. Method. I thought you were going to say Jada or Fab. He said the, Jada already. Oh, okay, okay. Because yeah. the error you came up yeah, with. But, but Method Meth is. That's crazy. He said. What did he say on that lemon record? He said, um, ain't nobody seeing him. Um something, 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 something like a CNN. Damn, like I, yo, he yo, son. Memphis, nah, Memphis, Memphis. is underrated too. though. He's definitely underrated. Think so? Hell oh, yeah. Memphis underrated. They don't they don't listen. What'd you say, Jay? Just, just, I, don't, I don't think Meth is underrated. I, I think like because his albums don't be hitting like that, but as far as a lyricist, listening. he's definitely a lyricist. So I don't think he's underrated his, though. His last album, what was that? Um, Meth Lab, wasn't it? Was it the Meth Lab with the graffiti on the cover? Yeah, Meth Lab too. That yeah. album was stupid. Meth got yeah. a classic album. <laughs> Yo, three, why you doing that? Yeah. Yo, three, why you starting? He do got a classic album. <laughs> which nah, one? Which don't. one? Yeah, I'm surprised in you. I ain't, nah, I ain't going to front. The first one? To I ain't going to front. That's a, that's I, a I, classic. I, I, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He trying to put me on the spot. I'm on it's record. Not classic. I'm on record. Let's go. Reggie Noble has better albums than Come Method on, Man. we know that. We know like, that. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, Reggie Noble has better yeah, albums than Method Man. But, however, I think so. So, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's go. So, because 
Reggie Noble has better albums with Method Man. Reggie Noble's a better lyricist. Or better nah, he's rapper. a better artist. He's not a better rapper. So what? he's he's better at putting. No, songs. he's a better MC. Like, so you say rapper, you got, child, rapper and MC are two different things to me. Yeah, so, so so we about so, to so Redman so Red <laughs> is better. So Redman is better. I'm just saying this clear. I'm just want, <laughs> I just want to clear this up. So Redman is better at making songs than Method Man is better at making songs. To me, I think so. Too. I think so. How too. many I, I how many hits did Redman have? No, I'm talking about a body of work. But we also ah. talking about the artist that can make. Nah, you could knock a, you could knock a single out nah, of the park. He, no, nah, he's really, right though. Not nah, really. Right. You can't no, really. No, no. I, he's I right understand, though. Because I understand Red, what think he's about it. What big single? I understand what he's Red saying. Had. Red was working like this. I be that. It wasn't big. That's one. I be that wasn't big. But that that was, was that after was that was after blackout, wasn't it? That was yes. after the Method Man and Red Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some action. Top, 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 yeah, top, top, I mean Red got some joints. Of course he does. That's it. But if we took both of their discographies and separated them, uh -huh. I'm taking Red's discographies. I'm taking Red discography. Over, over okay, apps. all right. So yeah, let's right. jump. Let's there jump real quick because I'm I'm so curious. So let's go Raekwon and Ghost Woo! because they both ill. Nigga, Ghost is smacking Ray all day. I'm sorry, Ghost made the purple. Oh tip. yeah, yeah, Ghost. Yeah. We had yeah, John, we, come on. We had yeah. a discussion. I know already. Staten Island. I know you got love for the island, baby. Nah, cause, I, Cause I love I, I love the how to because when them groups get together and they do them records, yeah. yo, ain't no ain't no separating that that verse. You can't, you can't even you can't even be like oh. I think collectively they dope, but I think singularly, I, I you know, ghost, ghost is ghost, ghost man. Ghost. You know what I'm saying? But that Supreme Clientele album was probably out of the whole clan. Outside of Cuban links, probably the best body of work. That in the purple tape? I said outside of only oh, okay, Cuban links. Okay. All right, all right, all right. But see, Ghostface, and Ghostface made that too. Ghostface made the purple tape hot to me. You know what I'm saying? Like without Ghostface on that, the purple tape's man, not the purple Ray tape. Ray had the smooth bars on that song. Y'all heard how he was, <laughs> I think it was slow. Oh, Ray, Ray, let's go. Ray Talk, about it, on it. Talk about it, John. Talk about it, John. Talk about it. Ray yeah. different. Oh shit! Oh, um, a lot of duos. The duos is all man. For real, man. Yeah. So, let me ask you this: So, what is it like making your way through the music industry when obviously your father is who he is, being one of the greatest MCs? Did the industry evaluators take you serious as an MC coming up because of who your dad was? I don't think I got there. Yet. I don't think they. I don't think the industry evaluators evaluated me yet. They evaluate you. Nah, they ain't put me on a mock board. Mm. They ain't put me on that draft mm. board. Yeah, so you still you in the saying? combine? Mm. In the combine. Yeah. I feel you. I'm still, still listening. In the well, we boosting that. We gonna put that up there. You already know. Um, mm. oh, but I'm definitely playing. I tell you that. No question. <laughs> Word, nah, right. I mean, I just think I, I respect what you're doing. I, I just think, as a person, I've been in the music business for a little bit, and I got out of it. But I just think it's about staying consistent and just doing what you do and grabbing a certain fan base and people that love what you do and sticking and staying true to that. Like don't conform saying I got to sound like this. So I'm going to start drill rapping or I'm going to like those, like, and it goes back to what we said about kids staying true to who they are and not Facts. following Facts. because I had a young man who was an artist. Like he sounded great. I loved him. And then he started making drill music and I'm like, this is not who you are, but this is what's popping. I'm like, nah, but this is not who you are. Yeah, but drill is different. You know, he's thinking that because that's what's popping, that's what he has to do to get on. So he's trying to conform to the system. Like, it's a good thing to be a chameleon, but not conform. And when I say that, to me, LL is a chameleon. Little Wayne has always been a chameleon. Jay Z has always been a chameleon. <laughs> Guys that can adapt to the environment. However, they're not selling out who they truly are because they just know the pulse of what's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they can inform, okay, this is what y'all want. I'm going to give y'all that. And I think that's the difference between Hove and Nas. Nas is never going to adapt to what y'all want. Nas is going to be the true essence of Nas. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z, if this is what it is, I'm going to give it to y'all because that's what y'all want. I don't think he be riding waves either. He ain't riding no waves. No, I don't know. Not even that's about what, riding. That's how he broke it there. Not riding a wave, but He'll adapt to what's popping the same way he wasn't doing that whisper flow before young Chris and them niggas was doing it. 
He we'll wasn't. Start that. He wasn't doing that. We'll start that. He was rhyming you fast. See what he did right three. You see, we bro, see what he, he was, did right, Jay. He yeah, was rhyming. He, he, he was rhyming. Style? He was rhyming fast until he took yeah, some of Rod yeah. and Nas joint Yo, three, and slowed shot. it down. Yo, I'm keeping three, it a hundred. Three got the shake on him. I'm keeping it a hundred. Three got that shake on him. Keeping it a hundred. Still young, Chris. I'm keeping it a hundred. That narrative, bro. Some some niggas is L L's another one. Some niggas is chameleons, man. They can change their stripes in the room, man. <laughs> it I look at it like this, though. You know, it's all about you know when you get the when you get the people that that's that's putting money into you and shit. It's all yeah. about the art of war at that point. No question. So when you when you are um, it's it's niggas. Talk that talk. We can talk, talk. Help me, help me out here. Um, <laughs> I fucking forgot what we were talking about for a second because I have a point. The chameleon, to... chameleon. Yeah, now, yeah. So, so because what, what happened? So, um, I feel to move with the time is uh, you know, because time we we the time don't wait as you see. It's a fact. As you hear, yeah. It's up to the ones who came out like Jay to evolve his sound with the time not to say do what this time is not not the um, sound of the time but as his time go yeah. he should evolve his sound in some way shape or form yeah just like with any other artist like yeah. when you come out you shouldn't be talking about my adidas 12 albums later Facts. you know what i'm saying so it's it has to be some kind of um want to grow in your artistry because a lot of artists get stuck in when they became an artist yeah instead of growing with with, with, with they like yeah that. you know what i'm saying yeah. so um i think jay is dope as shit. that's why i put him in my top <laughs> no I, I i totally agree yeah. i totally agree with that don't don't mistake when i say a person is a chameleon versus a person their evolution i think yeah. everybody should evolve yeah even as a regular human being you should evolve yeah. you know what i'm saying so what I'm saying is that as an artist, they are able to gravitate to, and Drake is another one. You know what I'm saying? So he, he'll, he'll, he'll bubble up. He'll, 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 you to death. he'll bubble up off of what's going on in the current state. Meaning if it, if it's a certain sound, a certain flow, yeah. let's see what that's doing. Let's, let's fuck with that. Let's, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. Whereas some artists, they just are not going to do that because they feel like they compromise and because that's just not who they are. And That's but the fact. great ones, I always say the great ones are the chameleons, the guys that can, and these are the guys that has lasted decades over decades. That's, see, and now now this is where I'm gonna interject to what you just said, right? Because when you said you went to Cali with your pops, him working with Dre, I just never understood how they didn't make the magic work. You know what I'm saying? Cause that the joint that he did on the eight mile joint was bananas. Like, yo, why they didn't continue to work? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and you know, Dre, that sound is crazy. And Rise versus is, come on, that's I, the God. I, I could give you my behind the scenes where I think it didn't work. Okay. I think um, Rod, Rod Kim being who he is, again, Rod changed hip hop. For anybody that don't believe that, go do your fucking homework. Niggas Him and G was, rap niggas, was my biggest niggas was rapping it, in the it, 80s. It, 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 a lot of people don't give G Rod came rap, in right. and changed the whole structure of how these niggas rhyme. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put that out there first. What I think is that Dre, from what I'm told, Dre is sort of like a fucking drill sergeant where it's like, say it again, do it again. Oh, yeah. I needed to sound like yeah, that. I need yeah. now if Rod already be like, nigga, like I already, you know what I mean? Like yeah. this, is me. Nigga, this is me. This is me. Like yeah, I, I broke the mold. these niggas is rapping like this because of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna sit and say one word a hundred fucking times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is just what I think. I, I don't yeah, know this to be yeah, fact. Know, this yeah. is what I think. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and say a one word a hundred times to it's your ears like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think that's why that happened because I think you could put Rock in with any fucking producer yeah. and it's gonna be fucking amazing. Shit, he worked with Kanye, you know right? You know what I'm saying? So I, I just think that that's what happened because Dr. Dre is Dr. Dre in his own right. He wants it how he wants it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's crazy. 
So what were some of the biggest lessons your pops gave you on your journey thus far? Uh, can't nobody be a better me than me. Or, oh, for that. Come on. Uh, well, for real, man. So so let's get into the project, man. How did you connect with Amadeus? Uh footwork, man. We ran into each other at uh Rock the Bells, that last that um Oh wow. Yeah, that last LL joint that he did in um in, in Queens. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so that was and met like, yeah, yeah, nah. No, the, um, I mean, like, at, at the, the tennis stadium, stadium they did. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Forest Hills. Forest Hills. Wow. The Forest wow. Hills Stadium. Oh, that's how you link with him. Wow. So let's let's talk about the latest project, man, the soul, man. Um how did that come about, like, in that short period of time? Long story short, him hit me and said, "Yo, come to the crib. Let's uh -huh. let's, let's let's um let's let's work." So I went I went up there. Um, he played a beat. I was like, "Yo, that's fire right there." Uh -huh. uh, what um, are we gonna? That's that's that I could I could use that that's open because I'm yeah. I, at this point I'm like because a lot of producers they sit down and they'll play you beats and you, oh yeah so and so I I gave this to so and so yeah 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 All right, well, why are you playing why are you playing it for me then yeah so, so I'm just off rip yo is that that open like yeah. I could use he was like yeah yeah but I got some more I said but hold on put that put that to the side he played another one and I said I right, hold on bro time out because you just played me two beats I like them both. So I don't want you to just play me a bunch of beats. Like, let me go ahead and let me record this real quick. Wow. So so when he played it, I was like, let me just sit with it for a second. Let me write. So instead of him playing a bunch of joints, he'll play one. I'd be like, let me let me write to that. Yeah. I write to it. And a couple hours later, I, I finished it. Then the next one, he'll play it another one. We was doing like that. We finished the shit in like a day. So he did the whole project. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I, don't, I only think, I think I, um, I think the beats, I think the beats I didn't pick are the beats that we using for the second EP. Yeah. So yeah, we we did like damn near two projects that that yeah. Yeah, I got a chemistry in there, and I see in that one day. Wow. Yeah. So and that is documented. Huh? And you've been busy this past few months, man. Been on, I see you on a lot of different platforms doing interviews and stuff like that. But the biggest platform that I seen was when you was the dad at the at the uh, what was that the Grammys? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that experience like, man? Just being there to see that, and that was the first time. But I, I always missed the shows. They'd be like, "Yo, Ty, you missed it. So and so was there. Word, yo, yo, Fat Joe was there. Word, I'd yeah. be missing all of those. Yeah. So this was the first time I, I got to catch. All of these star-studded superstars that yeah. I hear on the radio, in one yeah. place, in one spot, in one spot. at one time. Yeah, it's the first crazy. time ever. It was, it was, you know, it, it's it's still overwhelming because it's like, damn, I, I was at the Grammys, but I gotta go do this. Like, as soon as we came back from the Grammys, that so we we drove, we drove there, drove back, we got back Wednesday night, and Dad had a show at the Blue Note the next night, yeah. and then he had the Barclays the night after, and then I shot a video. For, wow. the, for the EP on Saturday, right after that. Yeah. So like to come back and then to not be like, oh nigga, but wait, I was at the Grammys, niggas. Hold on, y'all want to talk about that real quick? But <laughs> 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 it was just like, yo, we, we just kept going. So yeah. to not even have a chance to think or sit back, it was like, damn, yeah, that was dope. It was a, it was an overwhelming experience. That experience yeah. is crazy. Yeah, but that, that's the that's the um that's the work that the people don't see. You know, what I mean that's. That's Dame Lillard in the gym at four in the morning getting up 500 of them things. Oh, you and know then go out and Dave. drop 71. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. that's the work. That's the work that people don't Dollar. see. And then <laughs> and then they think and then they think that you won overnight. Like, oh, he he mm. that's Ra's son. That's why he did that. Mm. Not knowing yeah. you right here in. now. You've been on shade 45. You've been doing the doing the groundwork yeah. and everything else. But then once the masses hear you, they're gonna assume that. It was given to you, which I hate about this business, but yeah. that's just the way it is because no you didn't see me. But the thing I love about it is they're going to go back and listen to the old work. They're going to go to the back catalog and say, oh, all right, this nigga been a problem Facts. because they did that. They do that with everybody. Facts. They did it with Fifth because Fifth been a problem. So 
They'll go back and listen to Power the Dollar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And all the other shit that came out. Yeah. Guess who's back? The yeah. first joint. Mm -hmm. And be like, oh, something. You know what I mean? But it, it didn't just happen at uh, yeah, Get Rich or man. Die Trying. That's bro. a fact. That's a fact. Word, man. So have you ever recorded a record with your father? Yeah. You never put it out? Nah. Never put it out? You waiting? Um, nah. <laughs> nah. It's just... It's, huh? I was like, man, I was. I think I was still in high school. You were still in high school when you did? Oh, so you ain't recording that recently with him? Nah. Well, the, yeah, we did one. We recorded one record, like actually recorded it together. Uh -huh. It was uh, called Man With A Gun. Woo. Um, But he had he was in there, right? And I was like, can I put my verse on? He let me go in there and put a verse on there. But yeah. I was just mad old, mad long ago. Get the fuck out of there. Um, so being he right by the side with you now. You ain't chefing that up? Nah. Huh? You don't want him on that with nah, you. Yeah. Nah, nah yeah. First of all, first of all, me and him, we 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 freestyle every now and then. But like, you know, we 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 just freak like I'm not I'm not there yet to get on a record with him at the Ooh, moment. As far as listen, where I know he is I right now. I respect you for that. That's I crazy. See, because I see where he is right now, and that's not where I am right now. Right Ooh, now, I'm trying to yeah. touch the kids. I'm Ooh. trying to do, does he respect your hands? He, yeah, he, yeah. he gave me uh, your props. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> since, we go. since my since that first the, the first solo album home I dropped, he, he you know he started seeing what I was doing. So yeah, you know I definitely got his his blessing um, early. No doubt. So like everything I do now, it's like you know I don't have to stop and look back no more. <laughs> I, you know I had to get that out the way for real because you know you, you start meeting certain people and, and you like yo, hold up, like wait. wait yeah. All right, yeah. yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I, let me call you. I, I see what's up. <laughs> but word, like now it's just you know ground. That's why I've been doing what I've been doing so like lately, it's like like yeah. crazy. It's just ground yeah. running. I ain't nah, stopping. You, you on it? I'm yeah. like yeah, you everywhere. You out there. You moving, and that's that's the key, man. You gotta stay busy, stay out there. The music gonna come, and everybody gonna be lining up to sing your music. Yeah. You know what I mean? For real. Word, man. So. The human nature for people that hear you and they know who your father is, they automatically assume that you're supposed to be in that vein. You know what I mean? Did a lot of people give you slack knowing that your father's rock him and then hearing you and then expecting to hear the second coming of rock? Yeah, of course. Of course. No. How do you deal with that? I don't. You don't? I don't know. Well, because it's, that's like... That's like me, us thinking Michael Jordan made a clone. Like his, exactly. that's like his us thinking his away. son is a clone of him, yeah. Yeah. and he can do everything with his tongue hanging out. Yeah. Like yeah. It, yeah. nah, this you gotta you gotta understand what he took from his dad, and yeah. then what he took from other people, yeah. and how he made himself to be who he is. You know no what I'm saying? So like that's it's I don't I don't think about that. It's, it's no problem, nah, because I'm gonna be me no matter what, no whether question. they say who they think I am or. Yeah. Whatever, man. You know, it ain't nothing gonna change. Nah, I respect that. Because I know it's a pressure that comes with that. You know what I mean? But I respect that you don't even fall to that, man, for real. So, who are some artists that you plan on working with moving forward? J. Cole. Cole? <laughs> you hear what Cole out here? But, see, but, we did but, the video on that track, day, baby. But, but at the end of the day, we know what it is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We, you know, we, 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 we want to. Get a people so a bar show. Ooh, you know I mean, we, we, we want to really like get this to get this going. Like, come on, Cole, <laughs> holla at me. Let's, <laughs> let's put these bars on paper, son. You heard? <laughs> oh man! So what's next with Time Out, man? And what's the end game for you? Um, and I, uh, I don't. I just, I just. Um, I have a lot more projects. I have a lot more to say. Mm -hmm. Um, I got, I got, I got visuals. I want to do. I want to. I want to write movies. I want to. Um, I want to create Play. sitcoms. I want to, because you know, like growing up, we had we had the Cosby Show and all that. Like, I want to create something for the for these kids that has those type of morals in it, but for kids that's watching TV. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know. It's just anything too, like cartoons and 
little baby shows. You would. You would. Yeah, Interesting he says that because it's nothing it's nothing on television for kids to watch. No. Not I mean I'm talking about teen preteens up to teenage years. It's yeah. nothing on TV for it's them to watch. Cartoon, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just watch Instagram and TikTok. That's what they watch. Yeah. It's nothing on TV that's positive, that's influential for them to watch. The thing I like about Tamel, stay true to the music, to the bars, to the you know what I mean? Being a wordsmith and not conforming to the business of music. And I think that, you know what I mean? The people are going to tap in. You know what I mean? Obviously, people are all, all going to compare you to who your dad is. But yeah. that comes with the territory. That's a fact. You got to birth that. Nah, I, this is who I am. I'm going to stand on this. And I think that you'll be accepted by the masses. I, I truly believe that. That's a fact. And I, and I ask this to every artist that came through it. I think I ain't access to Flush. Flush probably the only one I didn't access to. But if you had the opportunity to work on a dream project with one other artist and one producer, dead or alive, who would that be and why? Mm. One other artist and one producer. Man. Um, let's see the producer first. Let's set the sound. Um, let's go. I would I would grab right now. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. That's a lot. I want yeah. just blaze. Just blaze. Ooh. I want just blaze, and then um, uh, me and Dave East could do a project. Ooh, shout Dave out to East. East. Uh, it's my guy. We gotta get East up here too, man. Shout out to Pip Jones, man. Chef Fly, you know, yeah, guys. All right, we gotta get him up here. That'll be a dope. That'll be uh, a dope sound of project because y'all, y'all cadence is kind of like yeah, similar too, I man. Like for real. East. I like East. Man, yeah, man. Shout out to East, man. Uh, so, where can everybody go to s support your movement? Follow you on your on your on your journey. Well, uh, you can follow me time. at official Tamel T A H M E L L on all platforms. That's TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook is Tom L. You know what I'm saying? Just search me on Google. You can do YouTube. You can search me wherever. It's just my music is all over. I got videos. You know what I'm saying? Holla at me, tap in. I'm, I'm, I'm still coming. I'm still going. You know what I'm Work. saying? And um, um, I don't, I don't have, I don't have no up and coming shows next. But you know what I mean? If you want me to come to a city near you, holla at me. <laughs> 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 yeah. Word up, three. You got anything left, man? Nah, man. Good? Great interview. I appreciate you for pulling up on us. No, no doubt, man. man. Looking forward to the next project soon. And, and thank, soon. thank you for coming through, bro. Hey, hey you know we about to talk this NBA. I don't know if y'all got to run, oh, whatever. But you know we come back, man. After this, DJ Joj. Yeah, we gonna talk about this NBA. We gonna talk about this NBA. Knicks, Knicks the hottest the team in the league. Get the fuck out of here. The last two, the last move. They all fuck out of here. Nobody went more than the Knicks in the last month. Y'all lying. Nobody went no more than the Knicks. The number to call in is five one six eight two zero six. I still don't know who this nigga team is. <laughs> 516 -206 No offseason. 3D. JLJ stills the great. Check it with us. Back to live action. Shout out to DJ yeah, JLJ yeah, for that yeah. mini mix. Yo, Jay, oh, man. man. He was Jay, going to the back, yo. We, Jay we was in the exact. Night, kid. <laughs> Jay got the new turntables over there tonight, man. We going to let he him show, rock he, out. He's showing off tonight. Yeah, he's showing, he showing off tonight, off. kid. We going to let he's him rock I ain't even warmed up. He Trust said, yo, me, I started late today. I ain't even warmed up. My bad, fellas. I he, started he, late today for the new controller. He missed the Nas <laughs> concert. He in his bag. He like, <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> why, so, why you start that bullshit? Hey, you over there posting where I live and shit. Right. Yeah, I was seen mad, man, three, nigga. I seen three in his basket. Yeah, he feeling good. Nigga. I, Once I, I seen I the show, this right. I had a good this sound. I had a good sound. This nigga talking to niggas, girls in front of you. <laughs> I said, God, no way you got to fight tonight. <laughs> God damn. Where's the man. Huh? It's crazy. Three. It was crazy. Three was in his red form. That's my guy, though, man. Red form. That's the name of his song. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Word. But oh, back, to, back to live back action, to live man. Action, no man. off season. Let's go. We still here, man. We still got Tom Mel in the building, man. Yes, it's been a great yes. show, man. 
Very you know what I mean? Like the the um his story is so Let's go. authentic and like you understand it because it's, it's hard to come behind somebody that did something legendary because you got to deal with the burdens of people putting perceptions on you. You know what I mean? So that's why I was super excited for this show because I knew that um he would have a lot to talk about being the son of a legend. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And so, the music speak for itself. Exactly. Shout out the phrase. He in the building, he like, yo, nah. It's all right, who this? You know what I'm saying? So it's always good to get new hands on something. You know what I mean? So that's a testament to your work. You know what I mean? Word, man. So we got about 20 minutes left in the show, man. And I'll be remiss if we don't talk about the NBA. I know three ain't want to get to that. But let's get to that. Shout out, shout to, out to the Knicks. Shout out to Zip with the drip. Let's get to that. Shout out to the Knicks up in the third. Talk about it, Tom. Wow. Wow. All right, so, so let's not skip. Let's not time. skip. So let's talk about Dame time. Dame time. I think he scored 71 points, man. He's averaging 40 for the month of February. And we spoke about this last week. Is the game getting weaker or is this the talent better in the game today? Dame scored 71, tied the, the NBA high this season with Donovan Mitchell, who also scored 71 points. Go ahead, three. I mean, it's not it's not that the game is getting weaker. Um, like I told somebody earlier, the NBA is more about entertainment versus competition during the regular season. During playoffs regular is season. a little yeah, playoffs is a different animal. Um, Dame scoring 71, don't surprise me. One of the most prolific scorers in the league. Um, defense is not an emphasis night to night in the NBA because most teams they rely on a uh, strategy or yeah. They defensive principles, and yeah. you can't change that from night to night. So if you're a team that we're gonna go under pick and rolls all night, that's who you are. You you talking that talk. You know what talk I mean? You, talk. you can't change that during the season because you got Portland on the schedule. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it just is what it is. But at the end of the day, man, I've been advocating for Dame since for the last six, seven, eight years, man. Shout out to my man, Ed Coda. Shout which, out to Ed Coda. Where who, who was trying to tell me multiple guys was better than Dame. <laughs> easy, easy Ed. They're not. Dame Dollar is that nigga. You heard it here. He said, yo, shout out Thanks. to Ed Coda. That's a little salt on that, man. You know, I don't like gunning my New York guys down, man. Ed Coda was a problem at Tilden, man. Absolutely. And then he went to North that's, Carolina. That's my guy. We, we debate basketball all the time, but I was trying to tell him that Dame is a problem. He was telling me that Dame is just a shooter. He's not really like that. And I said, stay tuned. Wow. Ty, what you think about that? I mean, Dame, Dame is lights out. He's shooting from the half court line in the game time. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> but um, but yeah, nah, he's definitely game. Dame is dope. He he's needs to stop. He needs to stop being scared of these big lights, though. Well, let's stop beating around the bush. Let's talk about y'all Knicks. Ah, oh, so oh, you want to uh, go? Oh, now you want to go to our Knicks. Go ahead, Ty. You want to set this on time? Talk about? Set it on time. Let Ty talk his shit. That's the guest in the building. Randall got 25 talk shit. plus tonight. Talk you know your shit, saying? Ty. They, they, what, seven game winning talk streak. your shit, Ty. They eight tonight. They 37 and talk 27. Talk your shit, Ty. <laughs> now I'm saying. Talk your shit, Ty. <laughs> All we got to do is throw the beat on, nigga. Wait, 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 wait. We fifth in the East. Talking. We still climbing. We right behind the fourth spot. Uh -huh. We only a couple games behind the, the first seed. We not, uh -huh. If we was in the West, we'd be third. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Something like that. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but how, how y'all saying that y'all the, the hottest team in the we league? We the hottest team in the league everyone right else now. is fizzling out right now. I don't fuck y'all the hottest team in the league. After the all-star break. I'm going to let Ty take care of my mic. Right, 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 they fizzling yeah, out. Don't leave the Everybody table. fizzling out except, on, except Giannis. Absolutely not. How the fuck you the hottest team in the league when you I got a team go ahead, go ahead. when you got a team in the league that just won sixteen games in a row? Who? Milwaukee, exactly. I just said Giannis. That's it. That's, that's it. the only okay, one. Okay, so He's you can't number. you can't we say, gonna smoke them you niggas can't say too. You the hottest team in the league. Wait, wait, if you have a wait, team wait, that won sixteen games, hold on, sixteen games in a row. This got real. <laughs> We, we ain't beat them niggas yet. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, we are Hall of Knights. Niggas got the Tommy guns. We got the. Uh, put that shit away, nigga. He's like, put that shit away. <laughs> he said, yo, nah. We ain't beat them niggas yet. Word. Y'all know what I'm saying? All right, yeah. All right, three. So listen. 
right. So we're the second hottest team in the league right now, right? Let I mean, me rephrase since, since that. Since the All-Star break. But our point guard is sizzling right now. And he spared his college teammate that night because he could have probably put 60 up the other night. What you mean what we're talking about? What are you talking about? Jalen Brunson. What about him? He could have, yo, he could have scorched Brooklyn for 60 the other night, but he didn't. Why he had not? 30 at the half because, because Mikael gonna, Bridges. I, listen, listen, listen. I bet $1,000 to a box of donuts the Knicks lose tonight. <laughs> oh. Lose tonight? <laughs> tonight. I ain't gonna do that to you because you're my co host. Yeah, listen, I ain't gonna do that to him right now. Tonight. Where that blue heat. down at? Nigga, keep that shit over there. To I'm gonna mm-hmm. thousand. You hear this nigga? To, Yo, Tom, what's the score, Tom? What's the score, Tom? What's crazy. the score, Tom? What's the score, Tom? What's the score, Tom? That's crazy. He's crazy right there. What's the score, Tom? Blasphemous. Whoa. Oh. We up, but we was up 10. Say it again. We up. We was up 10. You heard? We up. Let's say it again, Tom. I said we was up ten, though. They only we only up six. Bet it. We in Miami. I'm Bet not gonna it. take your money. You right. You right. It Bet it. It don't be that easy. In the NBA it's in Miami. Bet it. Bet it. <laughs> Bet it. <laughs> but anyhow, that niggas going to fall. I ain't gonna let this nigga try to steal my tonight, nigga. Let's talk about the Knicks, nigga. Word up. Since motherfucking the only way the Knicks fall, they keep Grimes in the game. Oh Sick. God. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> Them niggas went out last we night. They in Miami. They went out they last went night. They went out last night. It's over. They went to the Cleveland. Shout out to Miami. Them niggas went out last night. Cleveland. They went out last night, They went out. Them niggas was up 25. They up six right now. But hold on. Yeah, they hungry. They hungry. Yeah, 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 they hungry. Now let's talk about the Knicks, though. Like all jokes aside, I didn't believe that they would be this good. I knew Jalen Brunson this good. was the goods. This, this good. What this you good. mean? You saying it like they bad? We smoked the Celtics twice. This is a mediocre team. How bro? we mediocre when we what beat the best team about? in the league twice? They middle of the pack. They in the worst position you could be in the NBA. They Why? middle of the pack. How? How we middle of the pack? It's a championship team. I ain't gonna say that. Exactly. Yet. So. Listen, in the NBA, if you not contending, you done. Who's let me, not let contending? Me you, let me tell you what makes them a contender. Let's go. Contending for what? The championship. The playoffs. We can beat anybody oh, in the league oh, right he now. said the playoffs. Because niggas get hurt. Niggas get hurt. The Knicks That's might, a fact. You know what I'm saying? Niggas might slide nah. through. You know what I'm saying? But listen. Nah, I'm going to let if, you talk. If, if Robinson stay healthy, they paint. You can't get in their paint. You heard? So anybody else, you got, you can't do it. You can't get in their paint. Not with Robinson. First That's round. Oh, fact. He said a first rate. Yo, what up? We want to put on that. With we who? can do a better air. First round exit. First round exit. Let's take what we doing. Whatever and you yo, want to do. Make sure you zoom it's in on, on the camera. TV land. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. First round exit. First round exit. Yo, we can do a, a yo, bottle of blue dot. Yeah, bottle versus your Kevin Hart. Yeah, shit. Well, <laughs> Kevin Hart. Shit. That's so. <laughs> yo, I learned how to bet for my pops. Yo, I got you know five. Saying? I got five that the Knicks. Not only will they win the first round. So, so on top of y'all bet, let's go. They're gonna win. They're gonna um. They they gonna, the uh, R- Randall and Brunson is both gonna average over like eighteen. Nah, points. I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> he I'm ain't gonna do it. Average. Yeah, listen, Brunson's a gunner. Randall's gonna get his I point. Eighteen. The Knicks are mediocre specials. All right. This they is mediocre specials. About. That's what we talk about, right? Okay. So, my my bold prediction before we move on for the Knicks, the Knicks is gonna make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. They the can fuck beat, out of here. They can now. beat Philly. They spanked Philly the other day. This nigga hard is talking. Go they, ahead. they spanked Philly the other day. We can they gonna lose Philly. tonight. Yo, we got probably <laughs> the second deep. We got the second deepest bench in the league. What? Right now. Tell me y'all. Outside, four, huh? Tell me y'all four guys coming off the bench. What tell me mean, four guys me? coming off the bench. Quickly. <laughs> Go ahead. What you mean? Tridash. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep yeah. going. I can't Quickly. Talk to you. I can't talk Go to you right now. Man. Obi? Huh? Obi? Obi? Oh, he should be starting. <laughs> he should be starting. Shout out to OBC. You know, that's my guy, man. Shout out to Obi Toppy, man. Listen, uh, man. Listen, nah. But listen, man. The Knicks have a deep team, man. Hart. Oh, Ever shit. Since, we undefeated with Hart. Five-point so game. So, <laughs> that shit is getting yeah, closer. Yeah, you can't stop looking shit at getting closer and closer. This shit getting trying to jinx yeah. Shit he getting closer and closer. You see what he's doing? He's trying to jinx the shit A-game. Shit getting closer and closer. He's, he's like, trying to oh. jinx the A-game with a shit. <laughs> Niggas ain't nah. winning, man. No, listen, man. <laughs> Who's Jalen gold, Brunson man? is the goods. He's the goods. Mediocre special. I said it. They ain't mediocre special. If they play Derrick Rose, they might... 
Sí, he might be the secret. Like he Rose. might be the secret weapon. He might be the secret weapon. This is how I know y'all reaching. He's uh, rusty oh, right now. He don't know what's going on. Y'all, y'all, y'all not even watching y'all on. own team, man. Yeah, they not playing the like, man. Not that. You don't even like quickly. What you mean? You don't like quick. You told me you don't no, like. No, quickly. I don't. But he's putting up. And numbers. I told you he's, he's a productive. piece. Yes, he's a piece. Told you he's gonna have uh-huh. a Dennis Schroeder type career where Dennis he can Schroeder. Yes. Oh, you mean Lou Williams? Then it's Stroder overachieved. That's why he's still in the league. Quickly, he can be used as an asset, but you don't see that. You think he's a bum. I don't say he's a bum. I just don't listen. He's helping y'all win games. He's helping I us win I, games. But now you like nobody him. else off the bench. I tell you one thing. Go ahead, I know Derek Rose will be better than Chris Paul right now. You, oh, 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 oh Lord. I'm not, even, I'm, not, I'm not even. Look, he's I'm not even. His team. I'm not even. Nah, Chris Paul is I'm guy. not even entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even entertaining. Yeah. Hey, yo, but yeah. how come nobody's talking about Chris Paul? Put, listen, wait, listen, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant goes over there, drops I'm not, twenty. I'm not entertaining none of that. Chris Paul has three points. And he had a bad game. He had a horrible game. Have, nobody said nothing about like Chris I, like Paul. I to, like I, I told him. This. Like I told him. What? Chris Paul don't have to even shoot no more. What? So why you is don't he over shoot no more? Oh yeah, why is he over twelve? Oh he have to shoot. He shot twelve times and missed. Listen, and they won a lot. They lost. They won, but no one's it's, talking about that's all shit. that matters. Ah, oh my god, that's yeah, all that matters. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. Put Derek Rose in the game. Put Derek Rose in the game. These niggas is winning. That Rose can't fuck with us. That's all. Y'all niggas is smoking. Y'all niggas is smoking. Y'all niggas is smoking dust. If y'all think <laughs> Derek Rose fucking with CP3, so, nigga. Right Google now, anything. Today, Chris so, Paul versus I, Derek Rose. I, so look, Never. Career, so so, whatever. So let's ask a serious question. Y'all smoking question. dust. Wait, we, are we talking about the same Vin, Derek Rose from, from the Bulls? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Chris Hold up, wait. Let's not, let's not forget Derek Rose was only, he's not only on the Knicks. But that nigga was on the Bulls. You talking about Ty. yesteryear. Ty. But you was talking about Ty. yesteryear with Chris Paul. What no, good Chris, season Chris Paul's had? the only point Ty. guard with 20,000 points Ty. and over 11,000 assists. On, but he's hold still, on, that's because he's still going with it. Yo. Exactly. Yo, hold on, we talk, he played at a yeah, higher level for a longer time yo, than Derrick Rose. This, I'm, no, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Derrick Rose got twenty thousand. Derrick Rose got doesn't matter. Derrick Rose got twenty thousand points. Derrick Rose, Rose made a bigger impact. Derrick Rose made a bigger impact. The youngest MVP of the NBA. The youngest Hall of Famer. <laughs> Derrick Rose. Yeah. Hall of Famer. <laughs> Derrick Rose. Not niggas is quiet. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Hall of Famer. Get off the strength of him. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna answer this one. Next one, quick. Just Hall of Famer. Yes. Look, look how quick that was. What the <laughs> fuck are we talking about? <laughs> but how, wait, how is Derek, how is Derek Rose not Derek Rose the Hall of Fame? Fa- how is he Come on, man. <laughs> how the fuck? Chris Paul hey, got 20,000 points. What erased Derek Rose Bulls assists. tender? What, no, no, exactly. hold on. What hold on. erased Derek Rose Bulls tender? I want to know what erased it. What Talk did he about do it. that made people so forget Derek Rose what Derek Rose did? He, he MVP without He's winning the, the title. MVP without winning the title. How many MVPs He's on the fence. One, two, hold on. We got, we got, we got. got said me earlier. God damn. We got multiple people in the room. Derrick Rose is Derrick Rose a short shot Hall of Famer? Absolutely. Yeah. Youngest MVP in league history. Everybody in the room want to put a hundred dollars on that. If Paul George make the motherfucking if, Hall do, of do Fame, every, you got your numbers next to. Do everybody Tracy in McGrady the room? Want, niggas, yeah. Yes. Do everybody in the room want to put a hundred dollars on that? Because that. the next class, the that. next class is going to be so. It's easier now. It used to be six years. Now it's four years. So we are gonna get the answer real soon. He gonna is get Derrick on Rose his last year. a first ballot Hall of Famer? No, he ain't not first ballot. What are y'all niggas talking about right now? I do Rose ain't a first, what are y'all talking yeah, about? Hold on, he's not a first ballot. What are y'all doing? What are y'all talking Derrick about? Rose ain't a horse. Hell no, talk nigga. To him. Oh, talk god. to him. Hell no. Oh my god. Yeah, like you said, they taking away the fact that this man was the youngest MVP. How many career MVP. points he got? You don't even know. Uh, yeah, because he it, got it, over twenty k. No, Chris Paul does. How many career assists he got? He got he over eleven k. He got over eleven k. He blew his whole. Chris Paul does. He blew his whole body out. What are we talking about? Nigga was injured. What are we? But what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Yeah, hold on. So if you had to start an NBA franchise today, who you taking? 
Derrick Rose or Chris Paul? Chris Paul. Derrick Rose in his prime or Chris Paul? Chris Paul, nigga. He's smoking Eevees. Chris Paul in year 18. <laughs> I said a Derrick Rose in his prime. But you can't Chris say Paul. Why? Listen, what are you talking about? Why? That's a super dumb hypothetical. What? So what are we taking right now? Chris Paul now over Rose now? Well, of course, Chris Paul. Listen, yeah. Rose ain't even getting Hold no on. Term. No, no, no. Not Chris Paul now. From what they've both shown us for the amount of years they've been in the league. Derrick Rose showed you that he's not durable. He's an explosive point guard that lands wrong, that has bad knees. Chris Paul has been great. For damn near 18 to almost 19 seasons. He on this facts over stat shit. What are y'all talking? Like, what are y'all talking about? Tell him about the Instagram. Baby. Derrick Rose over Chris Paul. Of course. The fuck out of here. In a one-on-one -on -one contest, yes. <laughs> Other than that, this point guard got 20,000 points and 11,000 assists. What are y'all talking about? The only one. It's not him and three other niggas. It's not. He's the only one. Yeah, that's a fact. But we, but see, we what not are we saying, talking about? We're not saying Chris Ball not gonna make it, but Derrick Rose not gonna make it. Derrick Rose is not a first ballot Hall of Famer. Chris Ball, Chris Ball is a first ballot Hall of Famer. I bet my life nah, on. Nah, because his numbers. That's what do y'all want to bet? <laughs> what do y'all want to bet? That what do y'all want to bet? <laughs> Derrick Rose not even y'all right, in y'all rotation. Ah! Y'all niggas talking to me. <laughs> Quickly playing over Derrick Rose, <laughs> y'all niggas talking, to, and he's oh, and he's younger than Chris Ball. Oh my what the fuck are y'all talking right. about? You gotta get a Mike Jordan struggle now. Nigga. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nigga can't even play over quickly. <laughs> if Chris Paul oh, goes to the Knicks, he's playing twenty five to thirty minutes a game, my nigga. You yeah. th you don't think so? Over Brunson? Over quickly, nigga? Over Brunson? You Brunson think Brunson is, is better than Chris Paul? Right now, yes. Nigga, you're high. Right now, nigga. yes. Right Never. now, yes. Never in a million years, my nigga. Right now, yes. Never. Never. I, I'm going to pull the stats up. Google the stats, I'm then Google the too. highest paid point guards ever. There we go, man. Do that. Got stay for him, my nigga. <laughs> Do <laughs> that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Google NBA money. My nigga took 400 plus out the league. My it's nigga, okay. At six feet. It's, Who's doing that? He deserved it. He deserved so it. So what are y'all talking he about? He deserved it. But he ain't with no rings. He ain't with no champions. But Jalen Brunson's going to win Jaylen rings. Jalen Brunson might. Oh, fuck out of here. Jalen Brunson might. Fuck out of here. Fucking Roy nigga. Jones, so. nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so are the Lakers done, nigga? Fuck out of here. And does LeBron James get another pass? No. Nah, they ain't going to be in Miami. He's going to be in on, Miami? Orlando. They're going to be in Orlando. They're going to be in Orlando. <laughs> <He's gonna> be <laughs> in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, everybody give him a pass. Like, this is going to be, how long you been in L.A.? Like, four this is seasons? six seasons. Six seasons in L.A.? Yes. And they only made the playoffs, what? Three times they won one championship. Every time. He don't get to the playoffs. He get injured. Mm -hmm. It's another injury right now. No, nah, that's him fronting. Like, oh, yeah, he's fronting. I heard it pop. Nigga, what you heard pop? Remember when he lost to the finals? He came. What he had to? Oh, he had a cast on or Fuck. something like that. Oh, <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn, is of, Brooklyn is ahead of Brooklyn is ahead of Boston, one thirteen to one hundred four. Oh, they, they lose the two Brooklyn. minutes left in the game. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, with, what's up with um John Morant? And we is that real? Because I, I I haven't had time to really dig in to see fake dog. what's going on with this dude. He's playing himself. That's what's he going really on. He really did that? All right. Oh so to give you, I'm gonna a, give you the, a lot of things. I'm going to give you the full context. Into. So let's give him the full context. So shout out to Todd. And I was on the agenda. So he's allegedly running around Memphis like he's the biggest gangster in town. The Grizzlies all-star guard, John Morant, has not only been accused of punching a teenager and pulling a gun on him, but he's also being accused of threatening the head of security at a Memphis mall last summer, as per police reports obtained by the Washington Post. So this is real serious business. In the report, the security guard said that Morant made threatening, threatening remarks while a person that was with his entourage struck him. The entire altercation began when Ja's mother had a dispute with an employee at a finish line store within the mall, which led to her calling her son. And he allegedly showed up with as many as nine people. But they were told to leave by the head of security 
However, they refused, which prompted the police to uh, arrive. A verbal confrontation transpired, and then a member of Morant's group pushed the security guard in his head. So he's running around Memphis basically like he's a gangster. Well, I ain't going to say no names, but y'all know all of the basketball players that you don't hear about no more? Who's that? Who's that? All of them. <laughs> Gone. You don't hear about them no more. Boy, he about sad, to be one man. of them. That's it's crazy. It's sad because he's so talented. And he grew up in a household. Nick, like, yo, Nick got braces, nigga. That means your parents had some money. It's, they did say Bridges Jeff is coming back, though. Huh? They did say Bridges is coming back, though. Like, um, um, the from, uh, from the Hornets? I, I didn't like, think he case? was coming back. Yeah, I didn't think I so didn't either. Think yeah, because back. that was a forced acquisition against him. Like, he beat that whole... So what she the beat mess herself up? But how could they react like that if it was if um it because you know how women are like if a woman goes and say you did this and all that but she oh, yeah, she she recanted her story and they found out that it was wow. a false allegation and you know I mean, he's gonna be reinstated at some point. So man. because they didn't have video in the elevator, she was able to recant her story. Yeah. That's crazy. I this mean, is what I'm saying. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Because Ray Rice's wife couldn't even help him get back in because they had yeah. the videotape. That's crazy. Like. Well, she probably seen what your money ain't coming in like it was before. Let me go on and see. I don't want to be negative, and I don't want my female listeners to get mad at me. But what I think happened is that she seen that it's different when he ain't in the NBA no more. The money ain't coming in. You partially ruined his career. I ain't gonna see. Not even partially. Like she ruined his career. Yeah, he you was almost. He was gonna be exiled. Yeah, definitely gonna be exiled. I believe. Now she ought to recant her statements because the money ain't coming in. I mean, we'll never know, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Like he's a talented guy. Like when it happened, I was like, damn. Is I he hope- talented? Yeah, I he's like talented. him. He's old. He's he's super yeah, talented. He, yeah. Like since since his he, Michigan, he was he was the reason. Why since was- his Michigan State days, I always thought that he was the real deal, and yeah. I think that you know he, he like if they would have let him go, yeah. somebody else would have definitely scooped him up. Like fuck the backlash, we'll take him. We'll deal with the backlash of us taking a woman beater behind that <laughs> because he's that talented. Like he's yeah. he's super talented. Hey, yo, think about it. You don't hear nothing. Not to say he's not balling no more, but you don't really hear nothing from Lamelo Ball balling like he was when Bridges was this and he was throwing hoops behind his back under his legs. Uh, like, I gotta yeah. disagree. Well, Mello, uh, Mello, Mello's been balling until he broke his ankle uh two days ago. But he out of Charlotte too. He's he been he's Charlotte. been balling. I don't I don't yeah, he's another he's one that I Charlotte. don't think that he's gonna end his career there. I don't I don't think because I know some of the people that's in his camp that manages him, he's not gonna stay in, yeah, in Charlotte long term. So even if they offer the 300 million extension max, he he's gonna there. turn that down. He's, he's gonna, gonna go to LA. He's gonna go to L nah, not the Lakers. He might, he Clippers. might no, he might go to New York, Miami. I'll take him here. A, a couple yeah, of different other work. places, I'll but you, you'll take him over Brunson. He'll, he'll, y'all niggas on you see. No, I, that's why I asked him because he was on it. Nah, it's no, no, no. him. Yeah, no, no, it's no, no, him. No. I just I'm had to be, ask him. No, I'm gonna be it's, honest with you. Would I take him over Brunson? Hell yeah, he's younger okay. than Brunson. Okay, now taking him now. I'm a Nick fan, I had to know. We 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 bring on <laughs> now. We bring it on. Yo yo, you know you know what Brunson. You know, you know how good Mike Conley was in Utah for all them years? Yeah. Under that system? Yeah. That's what Brunson is. Hold on. Don't do that three because he was smoking niggas in Dallas. He Ooh. put up he put up he 60 was, in the play in the playoffs. Just, uh, what's the name? So don't say he just came in the Knicks. Luka, who put Luka up 60 in the when playoffs. When Luca was hurt, Brunson put up 60 in the playoffs. Against who? Against uh Utah. 60 points? 60 in the playoffs. What the game. fuck does that mean? They beat them. What are you talking about? They won that series. <laughs> Yo, Brunson is a solid guard. He's not a Yo, fucking on, star. He wasn't, he's, he's, not a star. Yo, Yo, he's not a star. He's not this a is star. He's not a star. He's not a star. This is his fifth year. So you mean to tell me he's not going to get better? What you mean he's not a star? He's, he's not, not going to get better? He's not a star. He's smoking niggas now in his star. fifth year. He's not a star. He's not a star guard. This is five years in. He's not a star guard. He scored He's 40 about four times well, he is, this season. Way. He's better than Donovan Lamello. Mitchell. Huh? This is Lamello's third year. Lamello's is Lamello's he's, third he's, year. He's better than Donovan Mitchell? 
right now it's looking so their numbers no, are, no, 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 no. their numbers are the no, same no. so okay he's yes, better he than is. donovan mitchell right now yes. donovan mitchell is a three-time all-star how the, the fuck is he better than donovan mitchell see you going as three-time all-star we is he better than season. Donovan Mitchell? This season? No. This he's stats? better than Darius Garland. Come on, no. Three, six, three. Come on, man. No. Look at this season. No. Look at this season. You can put up numbers on a mediocre team in any season. So you put Darius Garland on the Knicks right now. They Darius doing the same Garland thing? is better than fucking they doing Jalen the same Brunson, thing? nigga. They doing the same thing? Absolutely. Ty, you put no, Darius Garland better. on the Knicks? They're, they're going to be better? better? Yep. Let's move on. Man. Darius Garland was a lottery pick for a reason, nigga. <laughs> yo, <laughs> this is the, this is yo. yo this the is the problem with Nick fans. No, these are the same niggas that Here told me Jeremy Lin is that nigga. Oh, don't point at me. These are the same niggas that told me Jeremy Lin is that nigga. Chris Duhon averaging nineteen and nine yeah, don't say in that. a Knicks uniform. Let's Fool's goal. Let's talk about Brunson ain't like Dallas that, my Mavericks nigga. Right now. That nigga putting up numbers got... on a mediocre team, my nigga. Ooh. Brunson. He's carrying he's not a... like that. So he's mediocre. carrying a mediocre, mediocre team. So mediocre, he's mediocre. not even the highest scoring player yeah. on the team. Bet it. Them niggas is out in the first round. Yeah. Bet it. <laughs> what are we doing? We already bet it. Hold up, right. wait. Tom Mel can get the same bet, nigga. <laughs> hold up, wait, hold up. Because <laughs> Them niggas is out in the first round. I might put the fist down. Them niggas is out in the first round. You hear this nigga? Yo, the Knicks is not. Ty, Ty, get some of that money. The Knicks is going to the Eastern Conference Finals, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. We can beat anybody in the East. Thousand dollars to a box of donuts, nigga. Hold up. Hold up. We still got Milwaukee over there. Hold on. No, we, we can beat be them in the Eastern Conference the, Finals. Yeah, baby. Eastern Conference. That's what, we that's wanna, what I'm saying. We, we can beat Philly. Philly. Niggas are delusional, we can man. Philly. We we can them, man. Be Y'all niggas ain't beating Philly in those series, man. What? Why not? Beat, beat is too much, much beat my nigga. Beat the Celtics and Philly's bum asses. Beat is too much. Hold up. We beat the Celtics and the Philly's bum asses. Oh, what? Yo, Harden's not going to last the whole playoff. You kidding me? Yeah. Bet it. Oh, Betty. He's not lasting a playoff. He hasn't lasted a playoff since. Betty, fucking Julius Randle and James Harden and hey, yo, RJ on. Barrett. But, but them niggas went to the playoffs and rebuilt. They went to the playoffs and rebuild mode. Left hand bandits, man. Yo, he, hold on. They went to the playoffs and rebuild mode. Betty. Betty. You mean to tell me they're not better than when they went and lost the in the Knicks first round? Ain't shit. Them Betty. other teams they got is trash now. The Knicks ain't shit. Yo, Bet it. Yo, we got all this shit on camera time. I'm gonna make sure I see you this clip, nigga. He gonna delete we all this shit. The, <laughs> the Knicks ain't shit. Bet it. I'm gonna monetize this. Jalen Brunson. Yo, yo, hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So tonight I heard Jalen <laughs> Brunson is that nigga. That nigga said every Derrick Rose. Yeah. Terry Rose be is MVP. better than Chris Paul. Yo, Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Y'all niggas be, is smoking yo, woolies. Jalen Brunson <laughs> should be in the MVP conversation. Fuck out of here. Nigga, Jalen Brunson Jaylen having Brunson. a better season than Isaiah Thomas. You smoking, Boston. nigga. What? Jalen Brunson so should Jay- be. In the MVP Yo, real talk, real talk. Let's different. go. That's Isaiah weird. Thomas in Boston. Hold you on. You can't do that. that Isaiah was... Thomas in Boston. That was memorable. Finished. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas in Boston was third in MVP voting. Y'all telling me that Jalen Brunson is going to finish top five in MVP voting this year? He's not because of politics. We know that. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's not because of politics. So why, so why Isaiah Thomas? He should have been an all-star this year. Over who? What you mean over who? Over who? He could have been an all star over, over who? Donovan Mitchell. I, I'm asking you a question. Over Donovan Mitchell. Hell no. Why not? Uh oh. Hell Why? no. Why? Go check their numbers at the all star break. Go check the standings at the all star break. He wasn't better than D. Mitch. Who started? Was he? Listen, Brunson okay. is nice. There's just a lot of. He wasn't. It's a lot of politics. Oh, There's my God. A lot God. of players. There's a lot of players. Listen, when you've been. Should he have been over Tyler Burton? Halliburton? The, listen, it's the, same, it's the same thing with Ja Morant. Ja is great. I love Ja. Super talented. He's a monster. He's not going to crack that West Coast starting lineup. He has to take it. Like that little 27, 5, and 8 that he putting up. No, nigga, that shit got to be 30. Five and nine because you got Luca over there, you got Steph over there, you got Dame over there, you got Booker over there, you got too many hitters over there yeah. that you gotta overtake that. The same thing, like yeah. with with uh with Brunson, you got fucking D Mitch, you got listen, we got Trey Young who averaged 28, 7, and 7, and he wasn't an all-star. 
Halliburton averaged 19 and led the league in assists. Brunson That's why he was an all star. Too. Brunson cooked them the other day, too. Yeah, but Brunson is giving you 20 points a game and five assists. I think his footwork is immaculate, nigga. Nigga, tell his footwork. <laughs> we going to talk about that, nigga. He's giving his you. His footwork is immaculate. What, what Brunson nigga. averaged on the season? Huh? What he averaged on the he season? He's averaging 27 right now. Yeah. No, no on the season, what he averaging? 27. What he averaging in the assist column? Eight assists. So, so uh, Halliburton averaging 19 and 11. Okay. As a point guard, if you say I got a point guard averaging twenty seven okay. and eight, where's Indiana? And where's, I got and I got, and I got and I got and I got a point where the guard. Where the in the standings? I hear all the that. niggas is in the fucking bottom, nigga. And I told so you. that shit is empty stats. So did y'all have an? But what did did y'all have? We fifth seed. Did y'all have an all star? Huh? Did y'all have? An we all-star? supposed to have two. No, y'all shouldn't at the seventh seed. Why? Y'all were the seventh seed when the all star game happened. You're not getting two all stars as a seven seed. You just not. You have to be a top four seed to have two all star hey, players. Yo, this politics shit. No, I'm giving it to you yeah, real. Man. You know what it is. Ty, what's the score on the game? Yo, You're not getting two all stars. Down by two. Down by two. The uh, niggas is losing. That's uh, why y'all niggas ain't winning bet. Jay over there looking at the game on the low. You must be spinning records. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, let's get to Dallas, man. Kyrie and Luca, man. And I good told you that God. shit wasn't going to work. What you mean? You don't never want to listen to me, man. It ain't a good fit. Listen to the God, man. Kyrie had 40. Listen to the God, man. 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 Them me. niggas is one in five. No, no. They two and four. This nigga trying to add them niggas ball. is one and they two and four. They How many? What's they? What's they record with Luca and Kyrie? Two and four. They have forty points apiece. Kyrie had forty last night. Luca had forty-two. Listen, like I told. Listen, Smoke. Listen, we 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 not gonna sway our. Luca had forty-two, twelve. We and seven. are not gonna Kyrie sway our listeners, six man. Six. What you Facts mean? over stats on Instagram. <laughs> Facts over stats on Twitter, man. Listen, yeah. the Kyrie addition added talent to Dallas. But it doesn't move the needle out west. It didn't make them a better ball club. Can Luca and Kyrie coexist? Absolutely. But they're not going to win ball games because they can't fucking check their code at a party. Okay. So hold on. So hold on, three. So in the playoffs, what happens in the playoffs? It's easier to guard no, no, them because no, 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 you no, know no, where no, they're coming from. No, no, no. What happens in the playoffs? What happens to the game? The game slows down. Okay. Who, Both who, teams, who does listen, that favor? No, no. Who does, who it, does favor? it favor? The better defensive team. Not the team. Smart man, the You're better defensive team. Man. The better defensive team. It favors Luka Doncic. It nigga, doesn't. I'm gonna tell, tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Cooks I'm gonna tell, tell you why it doesn't why? doesn't favor them because Kyrie is an isolation player. Ky- Hold on, let me finish. Kyrie is a, Kyrie is an isolation player. Okay. Kyrie wants to play in transition. Okay. Luka wants to play the total totally opposite. Okay. Luka, Luka wants to play a half court game. Okay. So in the playoff, once the game slows down. You know where they're attacking you from, so it's going to be easy to prepare for Dallas because you know it's either going to come from Luca in pick and roll or Kyrie in isolation. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to prepare for. They don't have a third scorer, they don't have a fourth scorer, and they're not an elite defensive team. Yeah. So if you think them niggas is good, so you're you sipping coke. So you say that both of them is going to get shut down. That's what you. Just them told niggas me. is losing the first. That's round. That's what you just told me. They lose the first round. Thousand dollars to a box of donuts. And niggas is losing the first round, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, first round exit, yeah, my nigga. This, first round exit. Yeah, nigga. So I'm keeping it stacked. So, so let's go to your dark horse, nigga. The Phoenix Suns, nigga. KD making a difference or no? Phoenix Suns is going to the you, Phoenix Suns is going to the Western Conference Finals. Who won to bet against it? I triple your bet right them now niggas, on them air, them on niggas, camera. Oh them niggas are gonna get smoked on by the camera. Grizzlies. On camera, they are gonna get smoked by the Grizzlies. My my, my G to your, your five. So my wait, G wait, to wait. your so five. You got, you got, you got, you got. Damn, you got the Warriors. That's gonna kick it up like they always do. Nigga, Denver going. And then you the got, niggas. and then you got fucking the Clippers. You got the Clippers because you got no game ass. Uh, Leonard. I mean, um, yeah, Kawhi is gonna actually play. It's gonna be over for anybody playing up against the nigga. No. Any anybody that got you believe go in the Clippers? Better yeah. than the better than the um better than them niggas. Nigga, you're bugging. Anybody that gotta go to Denver is going home, nigga. 
this nigga believe in Denver. Yes, that's I do. why you a Knicks. Jokic about to be a three. <laughs> that nigga about to be a three. A three. P- and never, and never been past the second round. It doesn't matter. Now you got never Jamal. been past the now second round. Now you got round. Jamal Murray back, nigga. They Jamal got out. Murray. What? What you laughing? The other laughing. Jamal yeah. Murray. So what happens if what happens if Chris Paul gets Jamal hurt? Jamal Murray. Talk about it. Nigga, health health depends on everybody's situation. If somebody get hurt, get hurt. It is what it is. We we talking if everybody is in full toe. Health is everybody. So the Knicks now, if y'all niggas believe in the Clippers, bet it. We're going back to the, the Knicks. Clippers we is talking trash. about full health. Get them <laughs> we talking about full health. We back to the Knicks. The Knicks is trash. Oh, trash. Who's penetrating they pet they paint right now? The best two waiting? teams in the I, East is Milwaukee and Boston. The best two teams in the West is Denver and Phoenix. So Knicks don't get no type we of smack. The Knicks don't smack get no credit for beating the the the, the pace up. No, the, um, in the NBA you can the Celtics win. twice. In the NBA you can win night to night, but in the playoffs it's a totally different monster because you play in the same team possibly for seven games. Yeah. I can alter my defense. I can can. I know all your yeah, Knicks. Ain't, the Knicks ain't the uh, the Knicks ain't the Nets. Game? Hold up, the Knicks ain't the Nets with KD and Kyrie. Yeah. This yeah. ain't that. Yeah, they worse. The no, they not. About? They moved the ball. That's okay, they move the ball fast and they get Yo, the, and they I, make fast listen, shots. Listen, I love that for y'all. I love that y'all believe in what's going on in New York. <laughs> but <laughs> them niggas is trash. Niggas like the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is I'm just keeping it real. Yo, can we play a game? We can do whatever. Can we play man. a game? <laughs> whatever. Who said this? Them niggas is trash. You keep joining super teams to win y'all the NBA said title. that shit over of, over yeah, teleprompter and KD didn't mean? respond yeah. because you know when he oh, gonna re- you respond? know when he gonna respond. KD ain't respond. He gonna respond in the finals. That nigga bust. ain't respond. You KD's sure never respond? KD's never struggled against the the Milwaukee. That nigga Bucks. said KD a man said at this point they're saying go play with Scott Henderson. And win a scoop, championship. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Scoot Henderson and See, win a championship. I do, I do this for They're real. not. Win a In championship <laughs> and then we'll give you credit. I don't need credit from y'all. You think Giannis that is... sound like a nigga that... I do. You think, that's my team. Hold on, hold on. I want to ask the Punch call. Y'all you niggas think Giannis shit? is better than KD? Huh? You think Giannis is better Absolutely than KD? Absolutely right now. Yes. Okay. All right. He uh, carried the team to a I respect, championship. I respect nigga. it. He carried the team to a championship. You think Giannis is better than KD? Nah. Why? You think Giannis is better than KD? KD fan. Bro, you think KD. Giannis is better than KD? Nah. Yeah, see? see? You think Giannis is better than KD? That's some American bias shit. I don't, I don't, no, Giannis I'm, I'm just asking. Giannis led the Milwaukee Giannis, Bucks to a championship. No, we, we know that. Giannis we know that. Work. We know that. So who did KD win? But you don't win chips alone. You don't win chips alone. This is individually. This is in the ball. That makes it even harder. No, no. It's easier to stop him. All the stuff you say they can't do. It's easier but to stop it, right? Like KD we talking about them individually. Not, that's why basketball is different because about it's a team sport. Giannis got one ring on his own. KD got two rings with Steph Curry and fucking Giannis Prince ain't Johnson. fucking win that ring by what himself. What you mean he by himself? Drew Holiday, Chris piece. Middleton. He had, nigga, a, he had a team, my nigga. Game, nigga. But was it a super he team? Hold on, but was it a super team? Hell no. All right, so Thank he you. won as the superstar of Facts. the team, the only one. Okay. That's, That's why he won. KD, KD, KD won in a reserve role, or was he the best player on that team? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He didn't need to go there. KD wasn't, KD wasn't, wasn't the first one. KD wasn't the go-to in that team. He was not the. Was he the best player on that team? Nah, he was, not. Was he the best player on that team? KD's the best player on any team he goes to. But there's that's three other I'm best asking. players on the team. But that's what I'm asking. But there's y'all. three other best players. That I am, I agree that that was a super team. But Giannis, what I'm asking you is that did it y'all act like KD just showed up, clocked in, and they do nothing. No, KD showed up, he clocked in when he got no, the ball. He, he shot show. the shit and it went in. Like was he losing, in and that nigga came up it, off the drizzling and hit Braun in the head from fucking like forty. They back to back. They let him rock. They let him rock. So don't act like he just went to Golden State and he was just a part of the show. He was. No, my, no, they he didn't wasn't. The nigga. They was the Damn. best team in the NBA before he got there. But he didn't show up and not do what his job. Mean? They was the best team in the league. Y'all league. niggas is letting y'all personal no, feelings get involved nigga, they in was it, the nigga. best team in the league. 73 nobody, and 9. Nobody's... 73 and 9 without nope. him. But they, That's why Draymond said, nigga, we don't need you. And that's why he said, all right, peace. He so left. That Cavs team was loaded. 
That's why they needed KD, and that's why they wanted KD. Who was they loaded with three besides LeBron my and K and LeBron God, and Kyrie? Who was they loaded with? Nigga, they said it was loaded with Stack, my nigga. Huh? Kevin Love. That team had prime LeBron, prime Kyrie, prime fucking, prime fucking Kevin Love, J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson. Like that team, that team was loaded, my nigga. J.R. Smith don't even drink Hennessy, my nigga. This is why, this is why I know y'all niggas is jaded. J.R. Smith don't even drink Hennessy. Y'all niggas get off Instagram, my nigga. He smoked that ganja, but he don't drink no Henny. He don't drink no Henny. JR Smith? Smith don't drink Henny. They not winning no chip without JR Smith, Same my nigga. Ran they not bills. winning no chip without JR Smith, my nigga. The year before they not. Yes. You know who they played for? Who the they Knicks for? They yeah. give away all their right. talent. What are you talking about? <laughs> they give away all their talent. You see I'm thing? lying? Huh? I'm lying. Niggas leave the Knicks and get better. <laughs> Cause they go to better organizations. All right, so, so. y'all niggas in love with these trash ass Knicks, my nigga. <laughs> nah, it's just the blue and orange and the NY. And nah, y'all niggas, ball, is ball. Yeah. niggas is just delusional. That's it. Ain't nothing man. to do with James Dolan. That's First round exit. He spends the money. I fuck with Dolan. I know First round exit. I know how Knicks nigga. fans feel because I'm a Jets fan. And you a net fan <laughs> now too, right? <laughs> With that Kyrie Evans jersey, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga. How about the bronze that? that. Grand it's opening, some money. grand closing. <laughs> Jay bought that to me went to that last Nets and Knicks game. So let's move on real quick. The Clippers. <laughs> Russell Westbrook. Is that nigga a jinx? <laughs> or is this the Clippers trash? Shout out to three. Russell Westbrook is trash. Russell Westbrook. They are 0 4 since the trade. And they lost last night. Damn. Is it Russell Westbrook, or is it just that nigga Ty, uh, that Doc uh, Tyron Lue? Don't know what he no, do. No, you know what it is. This it's the shit that. That's why it's the reason why. Shout out to three. Uh, he got his mic. On. It's the reason why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like oh, that. Shout out to three. He got his mic on. Oh, oh my God! Go ahead, Ty. It's the, uh, <laughs> it's the reason why Rondo thrived in Boston. <laughs> they gotta learn how to work with the point guard instead of just trying to get the point guard to you know what I mean to work in a system that he ain't used to. Yeah. Like Rondo, they tried to get him to work play a certain way when he was with uh, Garnett and them. Once he let, once the coach let him play, yeah, it was over. They was he was working for them because yeah. he was on the court. Yeah. But if they don't. If they don't let Westbrook do what he want to do with the ball and make the decisions that he want to make with the ball, he'll yeah. never work with any offense. Ever. And that's why that was his problem in LA. They wanted him to do and do this, do that. Yeah, he was the scapegoat for the Lakers. It's like it wasn't his fault, man. Even with this Clippers situation, I don't think it's his fault either. I just think it's a bad break. But they own four, man. And my last question, man. <laughs> when we was coming up, man, shout out to AI. When AI came to the league, he had the big chains, the, the hats, the, the baggy clothes. The NBA was like, oh, we need to put a dress code in. Now these niggas is coming in wearing Mario Brother boots, leather vest with no shirt on, tight pants, colorful sneakers. Where's the dress code at? Shout out to three, kid. You kept your Mike on the whole time, man. <laughs> Shout out to my guy. Yeah, that's going to be part of the bloopers. <laughs> Do does the NBA need to implement a dress code? Because they out of control right now. Nah, man, we can't go nah, back. Why just, not? Why? I just think a lot of ball players is just, they, they just have a lot of different type of styles. They different people. Yeah, these niggas they did. They, they just expressing it. Because it ain't. Hold on, hold on. I love so. What, what, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> with Iverson chain, yeah. with the do rags chain, yeah. he changed the game with that yeah. shit. Yeah. Fact. It, it's like niggas too hood. With the high rise of rings, like, they was like, you nah. Now, whatever they dressing like now, <laughs> the they, they accept that shit. Hold on. What? What? what they what? coming in. The games in rainbow outfits on oh. with Mario Brother boots on. It's harmless. <laughs> it's harmless <laughs> no, it ain't. That's dangerous. It's 
Because you poisoning. Into the, into the white, oh, white person. I ain't going to open up the scrolls. The person, that shit, they don't, you're not threatened by that shit. What they wearing? Yeah. What what you come, was you come through with the chain hanging down your shit? Nah, okay, that, gotta turn why, the why is that why is that threatening? That's the yellow line. That's the yellow line of the but, but why, Hit why, the unmute button on why, that one. Why is the baggy the clothes? Yellow line, the yellow cord? Yeah, that's his money. Yeah. Why is the unmute baggy that. why is the baggy clothes and the chains and all that shit threatening? Why is it threatening? Because black culture. Black yeah, black so I mean like so the the the, the, the Looking extra feminine is not threatening to um Ooh, our young men. Let's go there. Hey man, you know the sweet do hell bars on radio. Can we ain't scared of that? Uh, that, that? I don't like it. But it's the, an agenda. Yeah, but to the to the NBA white people, to the white people, oh they good. I, I, I stepped out. What what was said about Russ? I said that Russell Westbrook. Because Came I'm, to the I'm Clippers, they Clippers own four. Shit. They own four with them, right? Absolutely. Now. So talk about it. What you think about that? Is it just him, or it's, is it Tyrone not, Lue? It's not Ty Lue. It's not Russ. It's just that um, my mic. I'm on right. You on, nigga? Yet? Um, <laughs> you was on, kid. Russ, Russ, my nigga, three. <laughs> the Clippers are a talented group. Mm -hmm. However, there's no cohesion. There's no leadership. And there's no pecking order. So when you look at it, it's like you got a bunch of talented guys, but it's redundant. So you got Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Russell Westbrook. Then you got um Nicholas Batum, Norman Powell, and all these other guys. Terrence Mann. They're redundant. Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon took 16 shots last night. Why the fuck are you taking 16 shots? They bro? got Zubat too. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like Pat Connaughton is never coming off the bench taking 16 shots in Milwaukee because he knows his role. He knows the pecking order mm -hmm. of what it is. Mm -hmm. And I think all great teams, especially championship teams, there's a pecking order. We're like with Phoenix, Milwaukee, all these teams. It's Kevin Durant, Devin Ooh, Booker. This nigga just slayed Phoenix in there. Phoenix went to the Man, finals two years ago, though. And when they went to the finals, there was a pecking order. And what happened? It was Devin Booker. Did they win? It was Chris. No, no. But what I'm saying is, you have to have a pecking order to order to be one of those teams. The Clippers don't have that. If 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 Eric Gordon could come off the bench and take 16 shots, and Norman Powell could come off the bench and go two for 12, there's no pecking order or leadership. Where it's like, bro, that's not your role. Like we don't need you to come in here taking 16 shots. Mm -hmm. Like you're a role player. Why the fuck are you taking 16 shots? Because it ain't no order. Because there's no leadership as well. Because Paul George is not gonna say it. Kawhi is definitely ain't gonna say shit. Kawhi, who the fuck they gonna listen to? Russ that just got there. So that fall on the coach then. So, no, no, no. It falls on the team is not built in the right way because you have talent with no leadership and no pecking order. So when I say that, it's like all great team. Just think about all the teams that won titles. There's a pecking order. You could be like, he's the main guy. He's the second guy. He's the third guy. This nigga's the leader. You know what I'm saying? It's like Andre Iguodala's not going to come in Golden State and take 15 shots. His role was to defend and make open threes. Andrew Wiggins' role was to defend and make open shots. Andre he's not Iguodala, coming up. Iguodala won the MVP. And Andrew Wiggins should have won that MVP. That series no, he too. shouldn't have. Why not? Because he should know. Because of because of what he averaged. He averaged 17 a game. And what's that average? Considered, but he was consistent. Nah. You man. can't see you the first one to say the facts over the stats. And so the Steph stats was the best player in that series. Was he? He was absolutely was he guarding the best player in that series? Now you remix it. <laughs> Steph was the best player in that series. The reason why Iguodala <laughs> won it that year yeah. over Steph is because he happened to hold LeBron. To under what they thought LeBron should have averaged, that he did a good job, and he he, he went from coming off the bench in games one and two mm -hmm. to start in the rest of the series. So they felt like he was the altering piece to get Golden State the title. So they gave him the MVP. Well, hey man, one thing that people get, one thing that people got tonight, nigga, when you come to the No Off Seasons podcast, baby, yeah, you're gonna get some NBA talk, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to my man 3D, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Time Mail, man. We appreciate you coming in. Hopefully we went overtime tonight. We went overtime tonight. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties in the beginning. 
when we made up for it, man. But um, we got a great show. Man. Overtime and hoops. It's That's cool. a fact. Overtime you know and hoops. You already know, man. But <laughs> nah, we really appreciate you coming in and kicking us. And before we go, Ty, tell everybody again where they can go to support your movement and support your projects and your body of work that you got going on out here. You know, you can check me on Instagram, official Tom L T A H M E L L. You heard? That's everywhere. Search my name on regular platforms, search, search engines, all that. Everything will pop up. No all doubt. The spot. No doubt, man. And of course, you know, you can always find us, man, on all major platforms, Bars and Hoops Radio. Right now, the app is under construction, so I know a lot of people was hitting us. Yo, we don't hear you on the app. You got to go directly to the website. The app is being reconstructed right now bigger and better you can you know schedule an alert for your favorite shows on bars and Hoops radio which we have a plethora of shows you know what i mean um all artists that's looking to get their music heard and played man we also play that we are a registered station so your music counts when it's played on this station you know what i mean and um you know every friday man eight to ten myself with 3d man 3d man i know you want to talk to people before you get out of here man so right now, the Knicks are down by two points. Ah, this nigga. Ah. I knew I should have gave this nigga the fuck. Oh, my God. How much time left me? Oh, two, like minutes, two seconds. Oh, they gonna, they going to win, though. They gonna yeah, win. They, they, you know. It's close. I it's mean, close. I mean, they they, they, Miami. Should, they should pull that out. Hey, man. Oh, uh, Randall just hit a three point. Nah, yeah, talk about it. We up two? Point seven nah. seconds left in the point game. Point seven wow. seconds, nigga. That's crazy. Uh, I got to go back to the replay. But, nigga, that's yeah, what. but he had to hit that because he lost the ball. He almost lost the game. Shout out Randall. to Ty. <laughs> Ty was on top of that shit the whole time. Shout man. out to the Knicks. They three, still trying. Yeah, it. Jay. <laughs> Say it again, Jay, because you said that shit with your chats earlier. <laughs> the Knicks down three. <laughs> he said it like Gilly. Yeah, but Jay should be hyped. I think Brooklyn beat Brooklyn beat uh, the Celtics. Brooklyn beat the Celtics. The the Celtics. Celtics. Out Everybody beat the Celtics. Yeah. Celtics. Bums. And we gonna with Zai, with Zai, leave that nigga where he is, man. JOJ, man, I think you need to take us out of here with some good music, man. man. Bird up, man. Don't forget, man. Every Friday, man, eight to ten, man. No off season. Myself, three D, DJ JOJ, man. You know, next week we got another live show for you, man. Make sure you download the Bars and Hoops Radio app, man. Like, share, subscribe on YouTube at Bars and Hoops TV. You know what I'm saying? And on that note, man, we saying peace, man. And the NBA need a dress code. <laughs> nah, we're not doing all that. Hey. <laughs> they need a dress code. This goes out to you. Uh. This goes out to you. This goes out to you. Uh -huh. uh, and everyone else. Uh. You heard me, I cook a splash, Chef Curry The book of gas shows the gift, not many worry Sometimes the vision's blurry, I advise him I'm clear, I dial scene with the reach My scriptures far seen, I'm bar mean Don't need dictionaries for hard mean And clear pop like the treble's too loud, nah I mean Let's fix the voices, a lot of us Different choices that got us listening All the noises, now I'm anointed Boom, 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 boom bap, hit different with true rap Like who's that? Stand up, I'm bringing true facts These new cats is cool, I need the juice back Know the ledge or you be bishop Slipped off the roof, smack Body hit the floor, then the snare go Your air low, bust from the bass drum The kick from the air so I keep their heads bobbing No Lorena and Pearsall I'm blowing up these high hats And all the weird flows Boom, send a shot They gon' move, tell the ops Nobody moves when the block In a few, ooh, boom Got it hot, nobody move Bring it back, copy cool Fill a bat, vibrate the room Uh, boom, send a shot Nobody move, tell the ops Nobody moves when the block In a few Ooh, boom, got it hot, nobody knew Bring it uh, back, copy cool, fill up, back, vibrate the room Bang, I'm boom, bapping, circle blocks New trapping, working pots, new tactics Serve a lot, do savage, uh And who's capping, I'm fitted like suit jackets Get rid of these crews lacking I'm spitting like loose quacking Like bugs had to burn it to the beat Fuck it, I'm abusing them Like I was turning to the beat Bucket, start listing, killing everything I meet It's beef, slice his stomach, watch the blood run through his feet Got it out the mud, it's hunting season I'm Elma Fudd, I held the grudge, felt the way. Now that shit's a dub. That cold feeling when you thinking that you're not enough. Stop it, cause nobody's actions is out of love. Uh, boom. Now there's nothing you gotta prove, only you know how to.
gotta move, gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, boom, cause reluctance is not a rule. Mind carry tools for us to build a higher view. Yeah, boom, send a shot. They gon' move, tell the ops, nobody moves. When a block in a few, ooh, boom, got it hot, nobody move. Bring it back, copy cool, fill it back, vibrate the room. Uh, boom, send a shot, nobody move. Tell the ops, nobody moves. When the block in a few, ooh, boom, got it hot, nobody move. Bring it back, copy cool, fill it back, vibrate the room. Bang.